What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a website just like the one you see here. And if you guys have never made a website before, that's totally fine because this entire video is going to be step by step with no steps skipped. There's also no coding or anything complicated like that involved. We're going to be building the website on the free website building platform called WordPress. And one of the benefits of using WordPress is the thousands of free templates that they have to choose from. So say you guys don't like the look of this website, there's tons of others to pick from and you can change them anytime with just a click of a button. Alright guys, so now we're going to officially start building our website. So the first thing we're going to do is get our website hosting. Now if you guys don't know what website hosting is, it's basically where all your content on your website is stored at. And you guys can use any hosting provider you want, but if you want to follow along step by step with this guide, you're going to need Bluehost website hosting. And there's a discounted link in the description you guys can use if you want to use Bluehost. So that's going to bring us to step one and that's to click the link in the description below this video to apply the discount and bring us to this page here. And then from here we're just going to click on this green get started button. And that's going to bring us to the hosting selection page where you can choose any of these packages that you want. But for this example we're just going to go with the basic $3.95 a month package. And then in a little bit here too, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this for actually $2.95 a month instead of $3.95 a month. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pick our domain name. And if you guys aren't sure what to name your website, here's a couple of tips that may help. And then once you find the domain name that you want to use, you can just type it in and then click next and that's going to show you if it's available or not. Sometimes stuff isn't available, so you have to come up with a different name. And once it is available, you just click on this next button here. And then once we get to this next page, you can see up at the top that the domain name is available. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this info here for the payment section. And then after you scroll down a little bit, you're going to also see the account plan again. And mine's still selected on the basic 36 month price for $3.95 a month. And then once you get to the package extras, really you don't have to select any of these if you don't want to. But just for privacy reasons, I'm going to select the domain privacy plus protection. But again, none of these package extras are going to be required to have to finish the rest of this guide. So even if you leave them all blank, that's totally fine. And now the trick to getting the hosting even a little bit cheaper is to go up and basically pretend like you're going to close the page without actually closing the page. So if you're on a desktop computer, just go up and hover the mouse over the X and pretend like you're going to close the page. And once you do that, you're going to see a special sign up offer pop up and it's going to offer you the hosting for just $265 a month. And all you have to do to get that is click on the green claim savings button. And once that savings is applied, you'll see as long as you have no package extra selected, your savings is going to be $192.24, making your total $95.40 for three years of hosting, which is a great deal. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to scroll down here to the payment information and put that in. And like I would mentioned before, this stuff is just going to be blurred out for privacy reasons, obviously. And then the last thing you got to do is just check the terms of service box. And then after that, just click on the green submit button. All right, then we're just going to land on the receipt page so you can see what your total is for your website hosting. Depending on your package that you chose, you're going to see uh, possibly a different number, possibly a higher number or a lower number than the one you see here. And then after that, you can just go back up and click on the blue create account button. And then once we get here, all you're going to have to do is have your domain name entered and then you're just going to have to create a password. And then make sure you make note of that password too because you're going to need it to log into your account. And then after that, after you check the terms of service box, you can just click on the blue create account button. All right, and now our account is ready to go and just click on the blue go to login button. And then you're going to enter your domain name and then the password that you created and then just click on login. And then once you get to this point, we're going to set all this stuff up later inside WordPress. So you can just go down here to the bottom and just click on skip for now. And then once you do that, it's just going to install WordPress for us. And that's only going to take a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes tops. 
Okay, and then once that's installed, you're going to land on your Bluehost dashboard, and now you've successfully set up your website. Now all we got to do is set up a couple more things and build our site. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the left side here and click on My Sites. And then once you do that, all you have to do is hover your mouse over your website right there and then click on Log into WordPress. And then after you click that, you're just going to see a couple pages here. And once those are finished loading, we're going to end up on our WordPress dashboard. And this is going to be the page that you see every time you log into your WordPress site. This is going to be where you add all your content and where you edit your content, which also includes choosing the look of your website, among a lot of other things too, which we'll get into. But before we get into any of that stuff, we just need to do a few more things before we can get started. So what we're going to do is go back over to the Bluehost section. And then on the left side where it says Domains, we're just going to click on that button. And then once you get to that page, right there in the middle, just click on the Contact button. And that will bring us to this page. So from here, what we need to do is verify our email. So if you haven't gotten an email from Bluehost already, you can just click on this blue Resend Verification Email button. And then after that, you can go to your email account that you registered Bluehost with, and then find the email that should look like this. And then once you see it, you can just click on the green Verify Your Email button. And then once you click that button, it's going to send you to this Who is Verification page, just confirming that you verified your contact information. Okay, and after that, we're just going to go back over to the left side here and click on My Sites. And then we're going to click on the Manage Site button. And that's going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard where you're going to see it says Coming Soon Active. This basically means that your site isn't active yet until you click the blue Launch Your Site button. So you can go ahead and click that button. Okay, so our site is officially live and now we're going to start building the actual website. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install our WordPress theme. So to do that, we're going to go over here to Appearance and then click on Themes. Then once we get here, we're just going to go up to the top and click on Add New. And this is where you guys are going to find all the WordPress themes. You can scroll through these up here. And then go down and check all these out if you're not interested in the one that we're using today. There's tons to pick from. But the theme we're going to be using is called BAM. So if we go up here and type in BAM. And here it is. And now you guys are just going to click on the install button. And then after that you're just going to click on activate. Then once you do that, if you go back over here to themes you will see that the theme is installed and it's active. Okay, and then after that, we are going to edit the site name and the title. And to do that, we're going to go over to Settings, and then we're going to click on General. And then once we get here, the only things we're going to edit is the site title and the tagline. So you guys can just put the site title for your website, and then you guys can just put a tagline after that. And then once you finish doing that, you can just scroll down here to the bottom and then click on Save Changes. And then after that, we're going to go down here to where it says Permalinks, and then we're going to click on that. And then we're going to switch it from Day and Name to Post Name. That way, whatever the name of your post is, it's just going to be your website slash whatever the name of that post is. It just helps clean up the URL a little bit. And then after that, you can just scroll down here to the bottom and then click on Save Changes. And then after that, we're going to come up here to Post, and then we're going to click on Categories. And this is where we're going to add some categories to our website. So whatever your website is about, you can just add the categories accordingly. So for example, this is a photography website. So I've added camera reviews, courses, galleries. You guys, depending on your website and what it is, 
you can just add whatever categories that you feel are necessary. And all you have to do to do that is type in whatever you want the uh, category to be called, like for example, camera views. You just type that in right here, and then you click on add new category. And then I'll add it to the list of categories right here. And you can add as many of these as you want to have, depending on your website. I would suggest at least making about five categories. And then after you hit the add new category button for each category, you don't need to click save or anything like that. Everything's just automatically saved. And just to show you guys real quick how simple that is, I just typed in camera bags because I want to add that as a category. And all I'm going to do is click on add new category and you can see it's been added right there. Okay. And then after that, we're going to take these categories right here that we just made and we're going to put them on the menu of our website. So what we need to do is go over to appearance and then click on menus. And then once you guys get here, um, you're not going to see anything like this. You're not even going to have a menu yet. You're going to have to create a menu. So all you need to do is name your menu. For example, I just named it one. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Just name it something. And then after that, if you scroll down a little bit and go over here to categories and then you click on view all, you're going to see all those categories that you just made. And so depending on which categories that you want to show up right here, you can just select the ones that you want. And then after that, you can click on add menu. And if you guys want to move these categories around, you can just simply pick them up like this and just drag them into a new spot. And then after you like where everything is positioned, you just scroll down here and then you click on, make sure this under this display location, make sure you click on main menu and that's going to make it, make all those categories show up right here. And then after you do that, just click on save menu. And then if you guys go back and look at your website and refresh the page, you should see all your categories are now up here. And then after everything is saved here, we're going to make our first post. So what we need to do is go over here and click on posts. So once you guys get here to post, this is all going to be blank, except for maybe the default one that um, WordPress includes. And to make a new post, all you have to do is click on add new. And then once you get here to your blank post, it's pretty simple. All you do is put the title of your post, whatever you want it to be called. And then after that, this is where all your content goes. This is where the text goes. If you click on this plus button right here, add block, you can add a photo and image. You can add a YouTube video. You can add a photo gallery. There's tons of stuff that you can do. And here's just a quick example of what a post might look like. It's going to click on this one and I use some example text right here and say like you guys wanted to um, add like an image or something. It's really simple. You just click on this plus symbol and you click on image and you can go to you can upload something directly from your computer or if you already have images on your media library, uh, you can just click on an image like this, for example, and it's right there. You guys want to center it you can put it there and go over here you can change the size of it to make it fit in there a little bit better if you guys want to add a link to it so it's a clickable image all you do is click on the image and then right here click on insert link and that's where you paste the link in and after that you just click on this to apply it and it's just all really simple stuff, just point and click kind of thing. And uh, once you guys get to the point where you feel like your post is ready and um, you want to publish it, all you have to do is just go over to here and then you click on the publish button and then that post will be up on your website. And if you go over here on the side, you're going to see all your categories. So you can just put... Um, Whatever, your, whatever post you have, you can just put it in the proper category. And also down here, whatever the title is of your post, you can just put that down here for a tag. So for example, this post is called Don't Overexpose Highlights. So that's what my post is called. And I'm going to use that for a tag. And that just helps 
Google and other search engines find it and know exactly what your post is about. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to see this featured image. And this is where you see all these images right here. These are all the featured images. And that's actually the one right here. And to do that, all you have to do is uh, click on it, click add featured image, and then you can just select the image that you want to have, or you can upload one from your computer. Then after that, you just click on set featured image. And then say you want to replace it, you can just click on the replace button and you can change it. And then like I said before, after you have everything set up and you have your post looking the way you want it to, you just come up here and you click on the publish button and then you will see that post on the home page of your website. And once you guys get about 10 posts, 5, 10 posts, something like that, your website will start to fill out a little bit better and it will look like this. And then if you guys want to add a banner or a clickable image here on the sidebar, all you have to do is go over here to Appearance and then click on Widgets. And then once you get here, all you have to do is go over here to where it says Image, make sure the sidebar is selected, and then click on Add Widget. And then you will see that image right here and then you can go and just um, upload the image that you want and then after you do that you can click save and then you can also same thing with the categories you guys can just move these around say if you wanted the search bar before the image on the uh, on the sidebar you can just switch it but I like to have the image first and then the search bar and then also too if you guys want to get rid of some of this extra stuff on the side like maybe archives or uh, this meta section right here all you have to do is come over here like to the meta section like you you don't really need that it's just kind of there but it's it's not important stuff so you just can click on delete and then if we go back over here and refresh this you'll see that that's gone just kind of helps clean the clean your website up a little bit and you can you can choose what stuff that you want here what stuff you don't all by just um, keeping it on there or just deleting it. And now I'm going to show you guys too some additional ways to customize your website. Like you can change the uh, position of the uh, site title and tagline here. All you have to do is go up here to where it says customize and then click on that. And once you do that you'll see a whole bunch of um, different things that you can select. So for example, if we come over here and click on Site Identity, you can see the, uh, you can also edit your site title and tagline here. Or if you don't want any of that stuff there, you can unselect this, and get rid of it, depending on how you want the look of it to be. And then also too, if you scroll down here and click on Colors, you can change the colors of the website. I'm just going to copy this real quick before I start switching the colors. But if you see, like, if I go to green, it changes, like, the search bar right here, and it changes these uh, categories right here to green. Again, you can switch it. You can put it to any color you want. I'm just going to switch that back, though, to the blue that I had. And then make sure anytime you guys switch anything and you want to make sure it's changed, you just go up here and click on Publish, and that'll save everything. And if you guys decide maybe you don't want just the... Uh, just the title of your site and maybe you wanted a full image you can just come here and click on header image and you can just uh, add a new image the recommended size is 2000 by 550 but it'll probably just resize it for you anyway so you can select the image that you want and then you can have it there if you don't want this instead and then also too if you go down here to header and click on general you can decide on where you want your logo to be. Right now I have it centered, but you can put it on the left side if you want, if you like the look of that better. And then if you guys want to add links to your social media accounts, all you have to do is come up here to top bar, then go to general, and then make sure display top bar is selected. And then after that, go to social, and make sure the display social media icons is also selected. Then you can go back and then back again and scroll down here to where it says social media 
and then you just take your links and then you just paste them here for Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or any of these other ones that you want right here and then after you do that you'll see that they show up right here at the top and then after you do that of course click on publish to save everything and that's pretty much it for the customized stuff you guys can just go through here and don't be afraid to just scroll through and um, you know click on this stuff uh, make sure you remember what you click on so if you change something you can change it back but you know don't be afraid to uh, switch some things around because you might see that if you play with things a little bit you might find out um, you like how something looks uh, better if you switched it and then once you guys are done customizing everything and you save it or you publish it you can just click on this X and it'll close everything and bring it back to the home page I just want to show you guys real quick too um, with the categories like see this post right here it's under the camera views category so if someone goes and clicks here this category you're going to see any uh, post that's listed under the camera view so it makes everything really simple and easy to find on your website and so once you guys get some viewers and stuff like that to come to your website you can place um, an ad here like this is but you can actually place uh, what's called Google AdSense in which is um, basically you just get paid every time somebody clicks on an ad that's placed here by Google and if you go and just go to Google and type in Google AdSense or on YouTube you can see how you install that but that's pretty much going to do it for me though guys if you just keep adding content to your website it will fill out and soon you'll have a website that looks just like this so i hope you guys enjoyed the video go out there put some content up on your website get uh, some google adsense going so you guys can earn some money from the people who come and view your website if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that you can just leave it below this video in the comment section and i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as i can so again hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you next time